You know, I'll tell you, this whole debate over the vaccine and things is going to only pick up steam. It's not going to get any worse. People are, uh, you know, saying, oh, we got to stop talking about it. I think the American people are ha have had it. You know, nobody wants to be penned up anymore and locked up anymore under government mandate. And the government, obviously, it's very, very obvious. They have no clue. They don't know what they're doing. And uh, they don't know why they're doing it. They, they have no rhyme or reason for everything they say can happen. There's somebody else saying, what are you talking about? It just happened to, you know, uh, 10,000 more people. I mean, it, it is, it's insanity. And truly, truly, the American people are being used as laboratory rats. But when you read the statistics, I thought what Sam said, uh, which I had not heard before, the, you know, they're comparing Missouri to, I think he said February, February numbers. When you look at the February numbers, there is no comparison because ultimately what's ma what matters is death rates. And if the death rate is, is down significantly, something's going on. And I don't know, I have a very limited uh, ability to understand all this stuff, but it is, is this virus mutating to the weaker side like all viruses do? Look at what happened to SARS. It virtually disappeared. Now, this so-called SARS vaccine killed three people and they took it off the market. But it didn't matter. It went away. So, is this going to, at the end of this summer, start going away. And what I mean by that is we have 50,000 people saying, yeah, oh yeah, I had, I, I got COVID last summer. You know, I, I got it. What happened? Well, I had a runny nose and, you know, I uh, coughed a little bit, but you know, it was, it was, it was like a, like a flu kind of thing, you know, and maybe that's what Maybe that's what's happening. And maybe the government desperately doesn't want it to go away. You think that's possible? Yeah. I mean, maybe they still need it. Maybe they still need it. Uh, they, they need to keep the, the social control on, which is what they have. They tell you to wear a mask, you wear a mask. Do you see how we've all fallen into lockstep? I mean, it's terrible. Is it an economic issue? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what, I don't know what shops are going to do and restaurants are going to do, but I'll tell you this much. They cannot afford to close again. And they know it. They know they can't afford it. They know that they can't go through this again. If they go through this again, they're out of business. They barely survived. Somehow, by the grace of God, they survived. They don't want to, they don't, they don't have enough ammunition to fight this again from a financial perspective. And they're not going to. And they're, they're not going to make it. They're going to close. And uh, they, they don't want to do that. They're trying to survive. They're trying to build their business back up, not turn around and destroy it again. Hey, remember to click the subscribe button right here on the screen. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when new content is added. And more importantly than anything, you don't want to miss all three live hours of financial issues every day from nine to noon. And you can watch it on FISM.TV. That's FISM.TV.